Want to see how to do the screen pump effect? Maybe a double pump with the RGB effect? Let's see how to do it in Resolve. Okay guys, let's go ahead and go into the screen pump effect. So I've got my clip here, I've got my track, and what I want to do is create this pump effect wherever there's a bass drum. Okay, so if I play this, I notice here this in the waveform is where the bass drum is. So I'm going to go and um, move my cursor right there and I'm going to put a marker at that point. Now you notice when I click the marker it put it on the timeline. If I had the clip selected it would actually put a marker on the clip itself but I don't want that okay so make sure you deselect the clip move to that position and put a marker. I'm going to put another one here another one there and I'm going to this has a double effect. I'm going to put one here and one there okay and we'll we'll work on that here in a minute Okay, so the next thing we need to do for the effect is actually go into our inspector. So we're going to come in here, right here at the marker. I'm going to set a keyframe here. And I'm going to set this to 1.15. Now you can adjust this as you see fit, but in my case, a 1.15 works very well. I'm going to advance two keyframes, and then here I'm just going to put it back to one. I'm going to go back and then advance or go backwards two keyframes from the marker, and then also set that to one. Okay. All right, so now it, we can look at that. All right, so we can see the pump effect. So now let me then show you a trick on how to copy this down. Okay, so while that's selected, this clip is selected, we're gonna go in here to the uh, keyframe editor. And what I'm gonna do here is just select these keyframes, copy it, control C, and then I'm gonna go here to the next marker go backwards two keyframes and then just control V for pasting and there I have it I've got it at the same position as this one which is starts at two keyframes from the marker right at the next position and I can do the same thing at this last one Control V and so that makes it real easy to very quickly copy this effect uh, to other places on your timeline now for this double uh, pump here. I'm going to do something a little different. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I will copy. Oh, let's go back to one, two. I will copy this in one, two. So I've got both of those back to back. And what I want to do different here is I'm going to actually close this out so I can make this a little larger. Uh, what I want to do now is actually add a prism blur. Uh, so that it gives you that RGB effect. Um, so I'm going to go in here under Open Effects, and then we're going to come in here and look for Prism Blur right there. Just drag that onto the clip. And so now I'm going to need to create a keyframe. Um, I'm going to start right here on the pump. And so if you go here to your inspector, Open FX. And what I'm going to do is go in here and select some settings. So I'm going to set this at like 1.9. Operation distance. We'll set this at 0 0.135. 0 0.55. Vignette size, 0.1 is good. And then sharpness, we'll get that all the way at the top. And then here's where we're going to set a keyframe. So I'm going to set this to 0.4. Okay, all right, so I've got the little uh, RGB effect here going. And what I want to do is here at the marker, I've got it on. And so I'm going to advance uh, two keyframes. And then what I'm going to do here is turn the blend to one so that it turns it off. I'm going to go back here two keyframes and also do the same thing on this end so that it doesn't start until my pump goes off and then I'm going to do the same thing on this last one. So I'm going to set this at point 0.4. I'm going to go backwards first this time. <laughs> There's one and then we'll do it here. Okay so now I have the double pump. If I start here I'm going to go slowly 
it shows the RGB effect and it adds a little flare to that that effect okay so that's all you have to do I showed you a few tricks on how to do that quickly if you got any questions please leave those in the comments below otherwise please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial peace